Well, hi there, and welcome to episode 47 of The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over Mars X3D. And you know, it's time to dive down into the archives and pull out some good old good ones. Some classic finds that are very popular from, you know, before uh, NASA started obfuscating everything. The initial spirit images had some amazing anomalies in them, and we're going to look at a couple today, along with a couple things that I've found in the past, and uh, went back and brushed up the 3D a little bit, and hey, you know, there's still people out there who are confused by seeing two images side by side here. They don't get it. Folks, this is a 3D channel. You need two images to make a 3D stereoscopic image, which you view by learning X3D. Super easy. It's in the description below, a couple of tutorials. Most people do it in two minutes. And uh, those who can't, well, you can just look at flat images. Anyway, cool stuff to look at. Let's get going. This is from Sol 45, early in Curiosity's mission. And you notice that the nav cam, which is usually kind of low resolution and not very clear, well, these look just fine. They're crisp and clear. Pretty darn good resolution. What happened later? Well, maybe it was age, maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. But this one's really clear, and we see a crumbling hillside about 35 feet away from the cameras. And off to the right, there are a couple of shapes that kind of caught my eye, and so I want to get in and take a look. After lightening up the contrast a little bit, we find the entire scene is littered with cubes and blocks and various anomalous shapes. So I put locator dots on two of the items that I think deserve closer attention. Look at the upper left. A large cylindrical piece shows ribs or, or maybe it's carved work. Note that the carvings have uniform depth and uniform height. That's not something normally encountered in a, a wing-carved rock, or for those of you taking notes, a ventifact. At the lower right, an absolutely symmetrical object has a typical tombstone shape, but much thicker. Was this a decorative piece atop a building, or a mile marker perhaps? I don't know. Let's move on. Here's one from the early days of Spirit's mission, and this was taken with the nav cam. Now, follow me here. This was our first successful, if you will, mission on Mars, where a rover actually got out and worked, at least for a little while. And these were primitive cameras compared to what later went up. So how come the nav cam images are so clear and sharp? Much better than succeeding missions. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, there's something that sticks out like a sore thumb. See that white triangle in the upper left corner? That kind of looks like a, a white tent, doesn't it? Or maybe a, a hollow pyramid with one side missing. What in the world is this? It would seem that the sides are somewhat transparent, as we can clearly see the interior side, and that would be in dark shadow like the floor if it weren't for the transparency. Additionally, it looks as if the material has even thickness throughout. Now, you got to admit, that's a kind of an unusual property if this were somehow an eroded rock. Imaginations, <laughs> let me put it this way, irresponsible speculation says this could be a tent or shelter of some kind if it weren't for the fact that at most it's maybe about two feet across. Maybe it's a discarded container half buried in the sand. Whatever it is, it certainly isn't natural, and it certainly doesn't belong there. This is a classic find that's been well covered by anomaly researchers all over the world, although, to my knowledge, this is the first non-NASA 3D rendering prepared from the data. The first view gives an idea of the size and the location of what has been called variously a trinket, a sprocket, or a gear. I call it sunburst deity for reasons which will soon become apparent. Take a look at the seated Shiva image in the lower left. 
from my time in India. This is the first thing that popped into my mind when I first saw this anomaly. The gear teeth would be the flames which depict the aura surrounding Shiva. The head and the body appear to be in the right locations and proportions to qualify as such, and while the legs are a bit of a mishmash, they too seem to be in the right location and proportions. Obviously, this object has been badly eroded. Moving into hyper-zoom, we actually begin to lose 3D clarity due to parallax compression. But this image is included not so much for being a 3D masterpiece, but in order to view the faint details now evident. The statue, if that's what it is, appears to have an Egyptian-style coiffed beard. This is consistent with other very Egyptian anomalies discovered all over the Martian landscape, though strange in being part of an otherwise Indian motif. Crossing the belly like a bandito's cartridge belt, we see a wide belt with two knobs on it. The legs are basically just a hodgepodge and are as indefinable as the contraption to the left of the statue. The entire object has been well sandblasted to the point where most of the details are gone. Yet the basic, intriguing shape remains, guaranteeing this anomaly as part of the pantheon of classic Martian anomalies. This classic anomaly has been labeled the eel by anomalists all over the world, and again, this is the first time to my knowledge it's been rendered in 3D. There are anomalies everywhere in the image, but you can see that the eel is circled and indeed it pops right out as something that shouldn't be there. Now I've pointed out additional anomalies with arrows. To me, they look like badly melted and fused pieces of metal machinery. I wanted to be certain you saw the one that's in the back. Notice the perfect hole surrounded by what could be a hex nut type of pattern. Overall, it resembles to me uh, an engine block that's gone through tremendous heat. You'll notice other smaller anomalies scattered about as well. In this final view, we get a good close look at the eel. To me, it looks like a piece of spring steel coming off the back and climbing up the face of the rock. Now, some have conjectured that the eel might be a, a spanner wrench, but look again. It appears to have a thick, almost girder-like section beneath the flat piece. And another point, the parallax is too narrow to tell for certain, but it's just possible that the head is separate from the part that goes up the rock. To the right of the eel is another odd piece. It's roughly cubical shape, slotted openings on top, and perfectly semicircular opening in front, precluded being a rock. It also appears to be metal that has undergone the kind of searing heat found only in a nuclear holocaust. Hey, a quick shout out to Harmony369. Brother, thanks for your comments, but when I click on them to respond, you disappear. I don't know what the deal is, but I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And by the way, if you've got an anomaly to share with me, use the email under the description. This is your buddy Dave over on Mars X3D. Be well.